And I, I mean, let's go get, get that key, KD up, man. There's there's yeah. books written on that, right? There's books that written on that over like, you know, they do war games and stuff and they think they're just games and stuff. And it turns out that the whole time you mentioned Ender's game. Yeah. Ender's game is a perfect example, right? They, they destroy the aliens, toys with Robin and the, Williams. And yeah, and they, <laughs> and they think the whole time that it's, uh, you know, that it, it's all the, the the trials leading up to the final fight when really they were just obliterating this alien race the entire time and they had no idea. And they did that so that you wouldn't have a conscious thought of we're just <laughs> murdering this race at all. It was a game. Uh, yeah. So and you were you were losing real soldiers <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> yeah. As far as far as training uh, things like training simulators, yes, like video games have been used. It's, it's documented, it's well documented to, to using them to, to train for certain situations. Um, the, the whole thing about Polybius is that it usually hinges on that idea that video games like cause some type of physical harm uh, to these kids, which is something that actually happened. Again, this is another kernel of truth in the whole Polybius uh, legend lore, where you had at least a number of people while, uh, you know, you might see Polybius in the the. <laughs> the collections of urban legends that say like polybius the deadliest game whatever but uh yeah. it, it, and that's it can be contested whether or not it's actually in reality it is but it has been it it has been confirmed that there are actually games that may have killed people like you had um michael lopez of beaverton oregon who actually suffered a migraine like a sudden severe migraine while playing tempest with some friends at the malibu grand prix arcade um he actually you know the migraine the migraine was so severe like it, it, in his words um you know he, he collapsed on someone's lawn four blocks from his house and was rolling around screaming in pain uh from this he felt like he said it felt like his head was cracking open I had oh, I similar feel playing COD too. I was just gonna say I had the <laughs> same fucking same symptoms for playing Ghost and Ghoul. Uh, you had Jeff yeah. Daly, who is uh, a, a, an avid video gamer, apparently, who suffered an actual heart attack uh, and and died uh, after getting his name on the high score of the game Berserk. Uh, and so, and in which there was another case with Berserk. So I think Berserk, this this game Berserk, spelled with a Z, is probably holds the title for the deadliest game because it killed two people. <laughs> it killed Jeff Daly and Peter Bukowski. Um, they died. Uh, Peter Bukowski died of heart failure, um, apparently possibly due to a myocardial inflammation uh, while playing this game. Um, Did he get the vaccine? <laughs> I mean, they didn't have COVID. Uh, he probably got a polio vaccine. Every, probably. Yeah. Like, every, every person who dies got the vaccine, and they're it's every, because every, of the vaccine. Uh, it's wild. Um, yeah. The first thing you read in comments is that's what it is. It so, like, what do we was. know what they mean by like myocardial inflammation, like a pericarditis? Or like I, I think he was already had like a kind of condition, like he already was kind of, oh, and it was probably brought on. Yeah, because there's there's been more. I mean, there's probably been many deaths not directly caused by games, but because people play the game for so long without food right. too much caffeine not enough water right yeah that's, that's what's the guy who did world of warcraft and he died right like like he, well, i mean there's, there's yeah. brian morrow who's also included in this who's uh he played 28 straight hours of asteroids and pretty much just drank coca-cola the entire time and then got sick yeah. and body collapsed. shut down like, yeah well, like, surprise, who wants to surprise. do anything for that long <laughs> yeah what's well, crazy because video games too are after a certain amount of time if you don't like replenish yourself you just start playing bad you get worse and worse your games get worse and worse like you just you suck yeah well i take it for somebody who sucks for the minute they press fucking play some people suck all right the it's exhausting they start gaming. That shit's exhausting <laughs> some people get dizzy playing on xbox oh, yeah. one of one of the members of this podcast can't do shooters what are you talking about i play hey listen i play what's that game called i don't Fuck. know what's that one where you drop in with a parachute a couple of those. No, <laughs> no, 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 give me another one. PUBG. Warzone? I played oh, PUBGs with both you motherfuckers, and I was the last guy alive. I was out there kneecapping Once. guys. One well, time, <laughs> one time, one Andrew. Dead. One, one time, and it was on a stream. I think one time where we were like, we were losing our mind at. One, one time, Andrew shot someone, and yeah, I killed like five guys. Kneecapped every single one of them because I was crouched. I couldn't figure issue, issues across the. Like, I couldn't figure out how to uncrouch, so I was kneecapping everybody. It was awesome, riding a dirt bike and it shit. Was an too. Odd job. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's realistic. That's where I'd be shooting from real life. Gotta keep it real. <laughs> 
Uh, so as far as the, the legend of Polybius is concerned, like most of the stuff has been kind of checked out, like hundred percent real. Sure. It's a hundred percent real. Without a doubt. Yep. hundred percent. Yeah. Without a doubt. Well, Theory of the week. I, uh, no, I, 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 I straight up think I'm like, I don't think, I don't think like when I send this and you know you you read articles and stuff that's like, oh this is a hoax and it's brought up, but like the parts for me where I'm like, is it really, is it that far fetched to think that there might have been some sort of government agency running some sort of test on seven machines in Portland, Oregon, like that's so specific of a hoax. Um, which would make it unbelievably good because I'm like you could have you could have done anything with that, but the fact that it was so specific, I'm like it's it's for me not like Andrew said it's not that hard to believe, like it's not at all. I don't I don't think it's a stretch to say that maybe we just don't have enough FOIA you know requests in for this kind of stuff that some sort of operation like this operation. Can Polybius. you send me the f- original cabinet of uh, yeah. the game? <laughs> well, even if even if we found out like w- like what the operation name was, and it came out in a FOIA request in tw- in fifteen years, in fifteen years that we found out that this urban legend, uh, you know, was a true CIA test where they were trying flashing lights and frequencies on people. Would any would any of you three be shocked? Would I'm you not be shocked, shocked of anything anymore? Right. <laughs> So it's just one of those things for me where I'm like, you know, some people claim this is a hoax, but I'm like, you know, is it though? Are we sure it is? Or are we just saying that because we don't have enough information on because it's so limited on these six or seven machines in a Well, that area. this is this is what it all comes down to is they said they had the ROM, but they never reproduced the actual game ever, even though they had it. There's never been reproduced. There's been people who make the fake game, like we said, the April April Fool's joke. And there's actually been there's some been, pretty good ones, from what I've heard. Like the people who have gone been, into made, like, they've remade it, right? They've made or a made game their own like, versions is, of what they their, version their own fan yeah. made interpretations of what Polybius yeah, might have been. Everybody knows the real version of that ROM got burned up in the fucking in Mordor. Nobody wants to play that game. Get rid of it. Yeah, burn but it. I was burn up to burn after reading for sure. Yeah. But yeah, well, so after like looking into it and watching the documentary, but I think it's on, uh, what, what's the what's the YouTube channel? It's called the Polybius, the game that doesn't exist. It's um, Ahoy, if you want to look it up. That's I watched that, and at the end of it, like, okay, if they made only a handful of games, and they let's say they took them away, and it was a government some type of program to research how these certain visuals and frequencies affected the player. Sure, I, like, I mean. Stranger things have been done for drugging people yeah. without their knowledge. Yeah. And, but, you know, there's a lot of crazy shit that happened. However, someone had to make that game. And it would have, at the time, like, this was, like, leading edge. Like, this is a, this is new. This is, so there have been a lot of people that work on that game. No one's ever come forward. It's like, oh, this, this, this is what it was, blah, blah, what blah. We got fucking, on. we got, uh, the first we got Mr. Roach and we got Cyrio. Yeah, Mr. Roach who doesn't go into any specific details. No details. About what the game No is. details. Yeah, because, no game. Because they killed The guy him. said they had the wrong. That, they're like, we got to take it. We got to no, take it. I, I, wait, no, after they killed him and he talked to that, and he talked to that reporter that you said that he talked <laughs> to. <laughs> I'm right. saying, I, I agree that I wouldn't be surprised if the game was real. I wouldn't be surprised. But without the game, or any actual video or any of anything of the game, it's really hard to say what the game even was. It's but I, but I, I totally agree. It, I wouldn't be surprised. I would not one bit if they're like, ah, there was this game actually. We were uh, experimenting on the minds of the youth to see how they would respond to the yeah, shit. It's, like, it's not hmm. it, the whole idea about playing a video game that could kill you is not something that has been around since as long as there's your mind. Yeah, it's been around since there's been arcade games and, and like it's been portrayed in movies. We talked about, the you know, kind of Last Starfighter, Tron, uh, that one with the Emilio Estevez, the, the Nightmares. Nightmare. The yeah, Nightmare, that, nightmare, that show, yeah. Uh, yeah. That, yeah. that anthology, like it's in there. Um, and, and, and like it's still happening today. Like there's still making new... was there like there was a movie in the 90s called arcade that right was basically yeah. like the exact same fucking yeah. premise. when arcades became like the settings for like horror movies like it's it's just yeah it's always that about like some kind of game that has a secret level that you play enough and you get to it and um i will say though dan it did appear in a simpsons episode it did which means it's got to be true 
Well, I mean, in, in, in pop shit. culture, Polybius has <laughs> popped in, into a lot. It's like, uh, yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.